Hi everybody, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Julie Montesquieu, sometimes otherwise known as Viscountess Hinchingbrook, it's a mouthful, I know, but um, I did marry into the British aristocracy nearly two decades ago. I've been living here in England now for nearly 20 years, and I thought it's about time that I let you all know what really my top 10 culture shocks moving from America to England are. First culture shock has to be, hands down, the weather. <laughs> so um, the weather is definitely a culture shock. And listen, I grew up in, you know, outside Chicago where, you know, it was snowy, it was windy, the windy city, um, you know, we had pretty severe weather. But we did have good summers, the sun did come out in Illinois. And the sun here, it's like, it, it's almost like a celebration day when the sun comes out here. Today is a typical day in August. It's freezing cold. I'm gonna get on the cold in a second, but it's overcast. It probably is gonna rain. It's probably already rained. Wouldn't you say, I've got, by the way, I've got Claire and Steven who are behind the camera, or you can see who, Steven's from Liverpool. Claire is from around here, from Yeovil. We had such fun putting together uh, the sort of just doing this video. Um, so, the weather. What was it like for you guys growing up? Uh, Your whole life? Nothing to write weather. home about. <laughs> it was always just average. Yeah. Always Which wet is... when it's summer holidays. That's right. Always wet. Always. Always. And we're going to get onto that word, as Claire just said, summer holiday. We're going to talk about that. We also like moaning about the weather. Oh, Complaining yeah. Complaining about the weather yeah. is a very British thing. Everything here is about the weather. Literally moaning about the weather. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've become, listen, I'm moaning about the weather right now and I'm not even British. <laughs> That's good, good practice. Number two is queuing. Queuing. Now, what he means by that is not queuing like pool table or whatever. Um, it's queuing standing in line. Because you guys line up for everything. It's a public pastime and hobby. Yeah. We love a good, good queue. They're just everywhere. There's queues everywhere. There's lines everywhere. You can't just like walk up in a shop and there's like people behind the till waiting for you. There's queues everywhere. Um, so there's queues in the supermarket, which also, by the way, and I bet Claire and Steven don't know this, that in America, there's somebody bagging your groceries. So when I first arrived here, I remember my very first shop queuing in the supermarket. Finally, it's my turn. I put all my stuff on the conveyor belt. I get to the end and she just sat there and was like, okay. And I was like, wait, do I have to bag my own groceries? She was like, uh, yeah, you do. Okay, what did I write for number three? Number three was food. Food. So listen, the food has definitely gotten better. So I'm not careful here. Yeah, no, I should be super you careful here, up, right? <laughs> exactly. Food has definitely gotten better, but the food is definitely different. There's a lot of shepherd's pie. There's um, roast dinners. Roast we love dinners. our roast dinners. Roast dinners. Yeah. Fish and chips on a Friday. Yeah. Can we tell the difference between shepherd's pie and cottage pie? So shepherd's pie has what type of meat? Lamb's Lamb. mince. Lamb's mince, which yeah. we wouldn't really call it mince. We would call it ground. Um, you call it, you, yeah, exactly. We would call it ground beef. You call it mince beef. And then cottage pie is beef. Is beef. beef. Right. So cottage pie has ground beef in it, as they would say mince. And shepherd's pie has minced lamb, but we would say ground lamb. Um, then we have, uh, but there's a lot of roasts, just Sunday roasts, but it doesn't have to be Sunday to have a roast. A midweek roast, a roast on a Wednesday. Roast on Wednesday. So there is- Leftovers for the roast. <laughs> you make too big a roast, you have another roast the next day. And the roast is basically your roast, chicken usually, potatoes and carrots. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Yeah. right. And what about, are we gonna talk about fish and chips? Yeah, yeah. Like fish Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Someone has fish and chips on a Friday. Friday yeah. Everybody, Raymond, who has been working at Matt Burton Estate for 38 years, um, has fish and chips every Friday. Claire, Stephen, did you have fish and chips Friday? Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. still Absolutely. do it? Uh, occasionally. Not okay. as much, but yeah, when I worked at the school, it was Fish and Chips Friday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fish and Chips Friday. Yeah. So there you go. And we're going to talk about chips. 
when we get into words. Stay tuned to see how many English equivalents of American words Stephen and Claire can guess right. Okay, this is a good one. Bangs. A friend? Yes! yes. A friend. See, did you know that we called it bangs? So tea drinking here, and I do have my, I found this in a charity shop, Elizabeth II. Queen, the current queen, obviously, her coronation. I found this at Westminster, well, not at Westminster Abbey, but it was at Westminster Abbey 1953, but let's go to the T. Everything, when you come in from the bad weather and you're, you know, basically you're a drowned rat, everybody will make you a cup of tea. If you need to talk about something, you make a cup of tea. You make a cup of tea all day long, but then you still have tea time. Everything stops for tea. tea. Everything yeah. stops Everything. for tea. You have to find time for tea. Always boil the kettle, have your tea, but here's the question to you both. Does the milk go in first or do you put the milk in after? Milk in first. What? <gasps> milk in first. No, the milk afterwards. First. No, that, you see that's another thing. <laughs> this, an afternoon tea as well, with the scones and the cream or the jam first. Right. We, so it's between a, different regions, there are different yeah. ways of doing things. That's right. But yeah, milk but in first. But it's always is a jam first. So Claire, you put the milk in first. Yeah. Stephen, you put the milk in after. Yeah. And then on your scone, which we would say scone, and you say a scone, you put. So there's a real debate. Do you put the jam first, then the clotted cream? The jam, or? then the cream. Yeah, but some places do cream then jam. See, I do cream then jam. Yeah. That's I the know. Devon way. It's the Devon way. That's yeah. another county next yeah. to Dorset. The Cornish is jam and cream. So tea, you always have to have tea. And you, if you live here you, and you're American, you always have to have lots of tea bags ready. Everybody drinks tea. Setting the table for dinner and dinner etiquette. Scary mm. one. What forks, knives, spoons, plates, cups. It's sometimes you'll arrive and you're like, there are four knives here and then there are four forks and then there are three spoons and then there are multitude of like plates, glasses. I still get it wrong. And setting the table, you have to do like a thumb, I think, to where everything has to be lined up. So you have to line up the edge or the bottom edge of each utensil alongside the bottom edge of the table and going all the way across and it's about a thumb. I'm, I'm actually still really rubbish at it. I'll set it and my husband will, I see him come around and make sure it's all perfect after I've said it. If our viewers want to see a, a video about that, hit yeah. the like button and we will do a dinner etiquette video. That's right, we will do a rubbish no, <laughs> dinner <laughs> etiquette A video. wrong one. A wrong one. So if you do want that video, hit the like button, comment below, and we will make that video for you. Definitely. Next one is words. So, <gasps> this countess, tell us about some Strange English words. <laughs> Some strange English words that I got wrong from basically day one of meeting my English husband. So the story goes, and it doesn't just go, the story was, and it's the truth, is after dating my husband for a few months, Luke Montague, he pulled out his credit card, and on his credit card, it said this word, Viscount. So I said to him, why does your credit card say Viscount? And he looked at me slightly in horror, and said, it's not Viscount, it's Viscount. I, of course, had you know the greatest one-liner comeback ever, and I said, but why would it be pronounced Viscount when it's spelled exactly like discount? And that is the truth. And he thought, great, I gotta marry this girl. <laughs> so words, gosh, there's, well, that's one of them, so it is, I'm afraid, Viscount and Viscountess, but if you do meet me and you call me Viscountess, I'll give you a big hug, which we're gonna talk about later. So we have, of course, different words. We speak the same language, but there are words that are different. So the most obvious ones are potato chips, America, you guys call them, they don't even know. Do you not know the we Crisps. 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 Crisps yeah. are called something, to, it's so confusing. Yeah. It's so confusing, yeah, it's right? To double think about that. Okay, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name what we say in America, and then you guys tell me what you say in, in, in here in English. So, we would say parking lot. Car park. Yeah, car park. Car park. Correct. Okay, obviously french fries. Chips. Chips. Right again. I would say zucchini. Oh, that one is Eggplant. Eh. 
pick again. No, it's not the other way around. I don't know what's the other one. Is that a that? An aubergine or a courgette? Yeah. Courgette! courgette. <laughs> well well done. done. Courgette. Okay, so then I would say eggplant and you would say aubergine. Aubergine. Zucchini, I was going to say. Okay, I'm going to gonna say washcloth. Dishcloth. See? Tea as soon as I'm going to say it. Towel? A flannel. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we call yeah, it a washcloth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, if I, had, if I had showed you, you yeah. would have been that's yeah. a flannel, right? Definitely a flannel. Okay, obviously we would say soccer. Football. Yeah, so that's easy. Okay, this is a good one. Bangs. A friend? Yeah. Yes! A friend. You're on fire! Did you know that we called it bangs? Oh, uh, yeah. So I thought they were on the side. But no, yeah. no, it's, it's here. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. here. Okay, cookie. Uh, biscuit. 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 Right again. Good. This is oh, we do guys. have cookies. We do have cookies, yeah. But I think it's, it's a And we have Jaffa cakes, which are biscuits, but they're not actually biscuits, they're See, classified as cakes. Jaffa cake is a cake. A Jaffa cake to what's me is a cookie. What's the difference between a cake and a biscuit? You're right. <laughs> See, we're going to get into this big <laughs> argument. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, wait, this is so fun. I've got to do a couple more. Uh, obviously, we say vacation. Holiday. Holiday. Yes. Yeah, and the one I don't get is when it's snowing, which it never does here, but you know, maybe one day out of every 10 years, you everybody would get out with this much snow, they would get out their sleds. Yeah. Sledge. Sledge. Well done. Yeah. Sledge. Like a sledge. But we go sledding, but we have yeah. sledges. What? We don't go sledging. We go what? sledding. Yeah. No, yeah, it's sledding. <laughs> but you have sledges. But we have sledges. Okay. Yeah. That, that, is, that, that, that one is I'll strange. agree with you on that one, that doesn't make any sense. So we'll stop there because we could go on and on and on. Well, but we do have, turn the tables a little bit, we've got place names. Okay, so we would say, I would say log, 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 well, I know how to say it the right way. Log, burg, burg, log, burg, right? And it's. The correct one it is. Loughborough? Yeah. Loughborough. Yeah. Loughborough. Yeah. Better, but we would say. Slightly trickier one. Log, Logborough. This one's in Wales. Uh, see if you can have a go at that one. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see that. That's Lansbar Pil Gwyn Gil Gor Gig Chur Drob Will Aunt Do you know how to pronounce no, that? No, I don't actually. Right. <laughs> that's why I should have done research for the thing. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a long but place naming. Yeah. Even unfair. things like. I know how to pronounce it now, but when I first came here, Leicester Square, yes. but it's Leicester. Yeah. Grove is a Grove. Worcester. And, gro yes. gro Wor Worcester Worcestershire. Yeah. Lancashire, but it's Lancashire. Sure. Le yeah. Worcestershire. Leicestershire. Grove Groves Grovesanor Square, but yeah. it's Grosvenor Square. I don't know how we I don't even know. just thought it was normal, but yeah. yeah. Apparently it is. See, <laughs> we just make it easier. That's all. Shorten them. That's, the, that's, that's right, the, we should. Uh, the next one, slightly related to the weather, and I mean, topical for you, it's always cold, and you're always cold. So. It's always cold, especially in these historic houses. It's always cold. It's just, it's just always cold. Like, I'm, my husband will be, I'll be like, can you just turn the heat up? He's like, it's hot in here. I'm like, hot in here. So that's why you see me wearing a hat a lot. So even in my videos, when it's like summer and I'm filming, I'll still, a lot of the times, be wearing a hat. Narrow roads and roundabouts and the fact that we drive on the, the right side of the road, but you'd say, um, we drive on the left side, but that's the right Don't side. Right, but that's the wrong side. So that's the wrong side of the road. But especially so, here, the, the narrow roads. The, no, the roads are this big, they go like this. So if you're prone to car sickness, I would think twice about visiting here. Then they don't have like yield signs here, they have roundabouts and you can get stuck. I mean, when I first got my license here, I would just sit at the roundabout with people honking behind me, being like, lady, you gotta go. And I'm like, I don't know when to go. And then of course they drive on the wrong side of the road. I mean, you're one of like a handful of countries that drive on the left side of the road. Come on, it's the wrong side. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> um, swimming in the sea. Everybody here. So remember, the UK, you know, you have to remember this because you know this, is an island. So it's surrounded by water and it's not Mediterranean water at all. It's not the Caribbean. It's freezing cold all year round, all year round, even in summer because there isn't really summer here because it's freezing cold here in the summer. Everybody here swims in this freezing cold sea like it's 
the Mediterranean. It's usually about nine or ten degrees Celsius. That's another one that we didn't have it's actually. Been a Celsius 18 in degrees mm -hmm. recently. Though. Really? 18, yeah. I don't even know what that well, means. I've been here 20 cold. years. 18 degrees. What is it like? That is not hot. 50, that's like 60 maybe. Fahrenheit. No, I think it's like 65 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. If you think going swimming in a sea in 65 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever is warm. Claire thinks it's I was warm. Say that, that's warm. For a diver, that is warm. That's <laughs> tropical. That, it's it's cold. The sea's always cold. And the final one is um, we're a lot more reserved. So we don't when you come and greet someone, it's usually a handshake or something. There's no hugs. There's right. no kind of hugs are very off limits. Thing. So they handshake. They either handshake or they're like, oh, if you if you know them like a little bit more, a little bit more familiar, it can be like a. Like that's what you know I do with like friends, my English friends, and then of course, but I do still give my English friends who I do love and adore a big hug as well. So, but you know, they don't you don't really hug here, do you guys? No, no, no we're a lot more reserved in the way we. Yeah, you're a I mean, lot more reserved with everything. Stiff upper lip. Stiff upper lip. Whereas the American, we like to, we wear our emotions on our sleeve. So there you go. Was that it? That's it. Was that that's the top, top ten? Mm, yeah. That was the top ten. So. Um, let us know down below what was your favorite of these top tens and anything else, those of you who have traveled to the UK from America or anywhere else in the world um, that has been your culture shock, we'd love to hear. Here's my last question though to Claire and to Stephen. Have you been to America? No. <gasps> So I can't even ask you my burning question. Yeah, yeah, yeah we say we've gone to Canada and that's pretty much the same thing, but that annoys me. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you just annoyed up. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, thanks you guys so much for joining me. Again, comment down below. Do subscribe to my channel. Lots more coming. And uh, yeah, bye for now. And thanks a huge thanks to Claire and to Stephen for their invaluable input into today's. Um, or into this video. Very, very valuable. Thank you both. <laughs>